What's going on everyone, Talon back here, and today it is time to get down to business and translate all of the V-Jump scan stuff that, oh, you personally care about. Uh, the first one I'm going to tackle here is, of course, Doken Battle. Another video after that is going to be all the Legends stuff, because there actually is quite a bit. Now, one thing I do want to quickly say on the Legends front of everything real quick, and I'll mention that in the video as well, is that, no, JP's not getting something ahead of Global or anyone else, essentially. It's just simply the fact that this is hyping up the units that are coming. Everything should still be really releasing at the exact same time it's just that you know v jump is something here in japan and they're you know they're gonna hype up units and everything right that's what they do essentially so anyway but let's get back on the track here because it seems that maybe 250 million downloads is coming i'm personally saying they're not doing it and just gonna skip it because i think we would have hit it by now because most of this right now all of this stuff that you're seeing currently in front of you this all has to do with uh, July and the number seven essentially so nothing really crazy going on here in terms of like some big celebration but you can kind of relate this back to last year where we did have the what was it like that seven star wish or whatever remember where remember on JP where we voted for our top favorite types and everything and then like that banner came out with like the seven featured units of like Super Saiyan 4 Goku STR Gogeta and all that remember, remember that banner essentially we all voted for it and that's what we got essentially everyone was mad that STR Gogeta was still on there me included so that was definitely interesting but anyway so this is kind of at that same time slot essentially that that happens so again i'm not really sure what their plan is maybe we do see 250 million downloads in august and this is just something a way for them to spread this stuff out but i'm not gonna say by any means that this is it so anyway this is going on right now but basically 2008 right here is yeah if i can zoom in here that'd be great so um yeah i can just do this okay anyway so 2018 uh nanagatsu which means uh, July, obviously, Doken is going to have a big celebration, a big celebration, essentially. Uh, anyway, so it says here that Nanagatsu wa my nichi wo login no shite, eto, nandake, oh, event, missions, and you get items and all that fun stuff. Basic stuff that we know, right? Purunga is coming back, right? It makes sense. Um, basically, though, uh, Purunga event ga uh, hajimeru. Uh, Nananutsu no Dragon Ball o. Oh. To kimete, yeah, onegai, uh, onegai o uh, kanai yo. Yeah, basically make a wish, essentially. You're going to be able to make a wish on the Dragon Balls for the Namekian Dragon Balls, essentially. If you remember it from the year three anniversary, essentially, once a day, start. so for this one, it's going to be starting on the first, obviously, so the seventh will be the last day. But once a day, and it even states right here, if you can see my cursor, uh, once a day, it's going to have... Uh, you know, where you have to do some type of, not really mission, but essentially something in the game, and it's going to give you the Dragon Ball, right? Like, I remember the very first one was taking the home screen and tapping the little thing that switched you between event and quests. If you did that three times, it gave you one. Another one was going in and awakening an AGL type or something like that, and that gave you one of the Dragon Balls. So whatever the missions are, it doesn't, I don't know what the missions are, obviously, but when they happen, uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter, because a lot of them are going to have Happen probably around 3 p.m. I would guess if they do happen more during the day then I'll have those updated in every video as I'm doing some other type of video I'm not gonna make a 10 minute video or something like that um, to just go over one Dragon Ball or whatever I mean I guess what I could probably do is at the end if you haven't gotten all seven at, at first, then I'll make a quick video saying, hey, by the way, you guys, here's all seven. Now, and at the same time, what we don't know is we don't know any of the wishes or anything like that. If they are exactly the same, though, as beforehand, I'm just going to pretty much just link the video where I said, hey, guys, by the way, this was the mission, uh, or these were the wishes in the exact order. The translation is all nine yards, and you're basically good to go. So we'll have to wait and see what's going to happen there with the wishes. Okay, so that's the first thing that's happening. So that's pretty cool. Second is uh, picking these characters, something like that. Um, so basically, Basically means that uh, let's see, only guy no ni o haite shite senshin o ni. Okay, um, so apparently by logging in and clearing missions, you're gonna get some rewards essentially, and if you get seventy seven some seventy seven something, I don't know exactly what, you're gonna be able to pick from one of these seven fighters. Uh, this is the Int 17 Hellfighter, I believe. Uh, Golden Frieza, Int Goten, Super Saiyan Gotenks, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, Tech Bardock, and Tech Trunks, actually. So, 
Cool, I guess. Yeah, it even says here, Zane, Nana, June, Nana. No, I can eat Colorado Road. Yeah, apparently getting 77. I'm guessing it's this item right here. Probably must, it must be like by clearing. So probably what's going to happen is if I had to take a wild guess, you're going to clear missions and do log in. You're going to log in, clear missions and everything. And part of it is going to, you know, obviously you'll have some missions that give you stones and items and all that normal stuff. But some of them are going to give you these items right here. It must be. Yeah, it must be this item right here. This little, looks like a tangerine oh i know what these are okay a uh, quick history lesson or i guess a quick japanese lesson real quick if you don't know there are certain events where it's like you know new years or certain holidays around here in japan where you go to temples you pray and then you like write down your wishes essentially that you want or sometimes you go up and you get your fortune essentially and if it's bad or good depending on what it is sometimes you wrap it up you tie it around a branch on a tree sometimes so this is kind of remnants of that essentially it's supposed to allow it to then turn to good luck essentially and the, the, the most basic terms there are times where it does change and i don't obviously keep up with it even though i've lived here for four years so but anyway so this is going to be the item most likely collect 77 of these and you go and you select whatever character you want from these seven particularly right here so uh me personally i guess i'll go tech bardock because i need one more to rainbow him so uh trunks and goten show up pretty easily ssj2 go gohan it's not bad go tanks i've got rainbowed and these two i just i really don't need so anyway so that's that i guess just i don't again i don't know how long this is going to last it looks like it's just simply going to be through the month of uh july if you guys notice in all the uh, news and every information and stuff that right now that's currently on Doken, all that stuff goes away on like the tw between the 25th and the 29th give or take of june and then monday which is july 1st no sorry sunday july 1st is when I'm going to assume this starts. So keep your eye out on the channel and everything like that. Sub if you're new and make sure you hit that bell button and you'll be notified the moment I can update you guys on everything. I'll be doing different things between making videos and streaming it live so you guys can see it right away and everything like that, okay? So I'm assuming July 1st is when this is all going to start. I'll update you guys if there's any other information right here. Um, oh, and by the way, real quick, if I didn't mention about the Perungo wishes, you will be able to use, you'll be able to pick three of the wishes, which was exactly like it was in year three. So just to, just to clarify on that real quick. Now, if we move down here, we got the big Doken Fest unit, essentially, okay? Which, um, I'm not surprised, I'm actually kind of surprised it's Super Saiyan 4 Goku. But, uh, yeah, basically, we are getting, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku full power. Okay, keep in mind, this is a different name. It is full power. It even says right here, Super Saiyajin full power, okay? Uh, it's a tech type, okay? So, Cho full power Super Saiyajin 4 Son Goku. Uh, let's see, Atarana uh ssr category okay so new category even says up right here category is going to be full power category now there have been so many people on my twitter feed and reddit and everything like that guessing and trying to say it's from this it's from this these characters are going to be in this category full power is so i don't even know what the word i want to use for basically it is so it's not even varied it's i don't even know what the word i want to use for it's so bland it is so easily translated or changed by whoever's reading it and it, it there is no idea what this category is going to consist of until we get the data download essentially okay um i've seen people going like oh is it full power like you know it's our final state essentially so that's considered full power is it full power like in the name and everything because you know like for example you have someone like uh physical full powered frieza who he has full power in his name someone else would be like str master roshi who is the baba shop card he says it says even max power in the his name right there so if it's that the category would definitely be very limited so i'm assuming it's gonna be a mix of something like that but until then do not hi try i don't i maybe it's the teacher in me i don't know what it is but please don't try to hype up these units too too much just yet let's wait to see what the category is i have a no doubt super saiyan 4 goku himself will be powerful in terms of his team though depending on what his category is that is going to make or sink this guy in terms of seeing him on your friends list okay the reasons that super saiyan 4 goku and super saiyan 4 vegeta in year two and then the 200 million download celebration for super saiyan 4 gogeta were so popular and stayed around for quite a while is well gogeta super saiyan 4 is really obviously popular and he stayed around because his team is beast his team is also beast he is good and the team is good as well super saiyan 4 goku and super saiyan 4 v Go vegeta at that time was super you know the mono teams buffed tremendously to super agl and super str and those teams were good they worked agl at that time was at the top of its prime essentially if this team for whatever full power category is 
if its team is kind of average or not good, expect Goku Super Saiyan 4, no matter how popular he is in terms of the friend list, to drop off really fast. Especially if they do not bring back a, or if they don't bring in a uh, Easy A or something like that. They had to do, you could tell they had to do that with Future Gohan, right? Future Gohan, super popular character, really good card. His team, though, is basically. Uh, godly units, essentially, right? The godly powers, UI Goku, uh, SSBE, Vegeta, Beerus, Rose, all those cards, right? Those ha most of those characters are on uh, the feature category as well. So it's like, well, I don't really need Gohan, right? I mean, yeah, the attack boost is better for someone like maybe Tech Vegeta Blue, but at the same time, Tech Vegeta Blue or other characters run a little better on the 150% UI Goku team. So... We'll have to see exactly what they're going to do with Goku. We have absolutely no idea what his passive is, what his leader skill is, aside from the category, obviously. But other than that, we really don't know. So anyone that's been holding on to those STR uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gokus, Baba shop them. Can't use them for this guy. You can't. You can't raise a super attack because it is a different name entirely. Because when you don't can awaken him, Cho Fudapara Super Saiyajin for Son Goku. Okay? That's what it is, essentially. Okay? Even says it right here in the Katakana and Kanji. Can't do anything about it. So, other than that, though, that's basically all we know in terms of all this stuff when it comes to Super Saiyan 4 Goku and the Purunga missions coming back and then the seven characters that you're able to pick from. Like I said before, the moment you get all 77 of these, I guess, good luck tree metal thingies or whatever you want to call them, uh, you'll probably just have to go into the Baba Shop and trade them in for something like you normally would. So, uh, but other than that, guys, that's gonna be it for the video. I really don't know. I really don't know what to think about Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Obviously, I'm gonna go for him unless the category is absolute crap. Um, personally, though, I'm gonna say that um, you know, trying to look. I'm, I tried to look at other teams for a second when it came to like, okay, where else can this Goku fit? How's he gonna fit on tech? You know, a mono tech team for Super Battle Road. How's he gonna fit on other categories? Right, like pure sand category. Right, we can put the STR Goku finally on to a pure cat sand category team i get the feeling that if this since this guy's on tech and as you guys know tech right now is mostly over in a flash right maybe a few fusions and prepare for battles here and there but overall it's mostly an over in a flash unit and as you guys know as well is that when it comes to the characters that are currently in the game under the category of not the category but under the title of full power they'll have over in a flash so some people are speculating that maybe this goku here will get over in a flash even though technically Super Saiyan 4 has never really drained his energy that fast to get to warrant giving him over in a flash, right? STR just has shocking speed and prepare for battle. So if they either take out prepare for battle or shocking speed and give him over in a flash, he'll work great on the tech team. Um, if you have Super Saiyan, if they don't though, they keep shocking speed and prepare for battle. He basically is going to need to be with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta just for those key links. Otherwise, he's going to definitely suffer in the key link department, depending again what his passive is. We don't know at the time, uh, at the time of this recording. So we'll have to really see. It's it's definitely going to be interesting. I don't think though on like category teams. I'm, granted, at this time there's only one category he fits onto, which is the pure blood sand team under Super Saiyan uh, Evolution Blue Vegeta. Is that I don't think he's going to replace STR on that team. I honestly don't because if they change him the way, if he goes the route of Super Saiyan Four Gogeta, then that means he's basically going to uh, lose his attack links to get more key links, right? We all thought someone like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta was going to get Sand Roar and other links like that, where it's like, oh, well, actually you didn't. You got Shocking Speed, GT, Over in a Flash, and all these other links that were just kind of like, you're mostly key links, essentially, right? So this, it will be interesting to see what this Goku gets, because if he does get Over in a Flash, but they leave Shocking Speed and prepare for battle for him, what does that mean, essentially? That, that The first link I see easily leaving is Sand Roar. Now, some people might argue that, well, Sand Roar is not really needed, right? He's already powerful enough. He's going to destroy everything. So an extra 25% attack is not really needed, right? I don't know. I mean, personally for me, I like having those extra attack links sometimes. It can definitely do some more damage and everything. Again, that's just personal preference. So I'm not saying that one right, one way is right and one way is not right or anything like that. But uh, it will definitely be interesting. And if that is the case, if he loses Sand Roar, and I'm, again, looking at the non-LR variant of the SSBE category team, the pure sand category team, because I personally like running that better. Right now, one rotation is Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, and those guys link perfectly together. The only thing that Goku basically misses 
out on the Kamehameha link, which is only 2,500, which doesn't matter. So he is definitely, that STR is still going to destroy this tech guy if he loses that attack in terms of pure attack power. And on a pure Saiyan category team, if you're using both Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, then great. Now, at the same time, though, and I will mention this because I know some people is going to come, it's going to try and call me out in the comments, is that, yes, because they are the same name, you could technically run the STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and the Tech Super Saiyan 4 Goku full power. Uh, but again, we're not really sure. We'll have to see all this fun stuff. Again, I'm not saying he's going to be a bad card by any means. I know someone's going to say that too. Man, why are you dissing on Super Saiyan 4 Goku? Not dissing on him, okay? He's going to be a great card. Amazing. We'll have to wait and see what he's going to have. But I'm just saying, keep in mind that it, this doesn't necessarily mean that he replaces STR, which I'm definitely happy for. Because STR Rainbow, who? Yeah, that dude does some damage, especially on Vegeta's team. So, uh, And I guess the last thing to just know is that a lot of people are asking, is he going to go into the Shadow Dragons category finally? I'm personally going to say, who cares if he does? Because you are not going to see Omega return. Just because you go finally into that category, Goku, I'm sorry, at least on JP. Maybe Global is different because I know Global does actually see that guy a little bit more. Uh, JP doesn't really see Omega Shenron as a leader anymore. So even if he does go into Shadow Dragon's category, yeah, you might see him come back for a week or two. And then again, boom, he's gone, right? So I don't know. It's, it's, it, it is what it is. By no means a bad team when it comes to the Shadow Dragon's category, but I'm just saying... There are better teams. So, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, as always. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you happen to be new. And let me know if you're going to be going for Super Saiyan 4 Goku. What do you think all this information means in terms of a celebration? Do you think the 250 million downloads is dead? It will never come back. Or do you think maybe that is an August time? Because that would be after the year three anniversary for Global, which then means, oh, man, poor Global if you get to celebrate that with us. So, just saying. Save your stones, maybe. So, anyway, guys, again, that's going to be it for the video. Until next time, everyone, I'll see you all in the next one.